Good morning, guys. Like my mandatory mask? Not. Read my shirt. Everywhere I went yesterday, and I was able to get a cup of coffee a couple times. I walked into the store two times. I've been kicked out of some. But I carry a mask. I put a stick of mask in my pocket only because I kind of, you know, I may I probably don't. Most of the times, 99% of times, no, I'm not going to do it. I'll walk out and leave. But stick in my pocket in case anybody gets all bent out of shape. But I don't wear it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to cow down to this di di dictatorial, draconian fear. Everywhere you go, people are driving with masks on. Fear, fear, fear. I'm not getting on a soapbox, guys. I've got to, some stuff i got to go take care of. That's one thing the enemy's been really harassing me about is my time. Um, but I'm about to... Some of the stuff is about to level off this week, and then the Lord's been gracious and merciful, even in my ignorance and weakness. But Matt, everywhere I went, mask, mask, everywhere I went before a face mask, such and such judge, whatever, don't care. I'm not going to tell you where I've been because the Corona police will come. Went to one of my favorite stores. Know the guy real well. Used to talk about Jesus all the time. He's in fear of losing his business. Made me, made me wear a mask. I wore it for a brief second and then walked out, but did my business and walked out. But he told me the city has been sitting in his parking lot of the shopping center looking for people. Man, they're waiting. Masks aren't masks are mandatory. No, Jesus is, guys. Do you hear that? 99.5% of everybody's got a mask on. Do you hear about Jesus? Do you hear about the Holy Ghost? Do you hear about his word? Do you hear about God? No, you don't. Hogwash. Time to take a stand, guys. Take this country back. I'm not doing it. It's not a game. My wife knows me. When I'm very, very patient. To a point. Past that point. Man, the mask's coming off. The gloves are coming off. Probably not preacher friendly, but all hell's going to break loose. It's already breaking loose all around us. Sorry, I'm not going to keep this one short because of I, because I've got some place I've got to be, but I needed to get this out. There's some really deep messages, dreams, some things that I've been having, and I've got to get back into that realm, and I'm going to as early as next week. I've neglected some people that I needed to call and just some different things because of the time that the enemy has been stealing from me and us too. But it's all this fear. Or what? Man, they can't, they don't have nothing to stand on. You fact checkers, do they talk about the death toll much? No, they don't. Do they talk about the reality of it? No, they don't. Do they talk about that face masks don't work? No, they don't. They just spit out, bomb, and puke. But it's demonic. There is an agenda behind it, and the agenda is, is demonic. So we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. He's using flesh and blood, though. Just like God uses people, the devil that uses people. Plenty of them. It's not about my civil rights anymore, guys. It's way past that. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I'm not wearing a mask. Because it's not mandatory. I'm a child of the king. I'm in this world, but not of this world. So are you going to get a little bit of Holy Ghost backbone with me too? And tell them enough's enough. You know where you can put the mask, I guess? Sorry. <clears throat> I 
I'm not. I'm going to start carrying this, and when people really get all bent out of shape, I may put this on or walk into some stores with this on. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't get shot or accused of robbery or something. Call the cops. Call the National Guard. I'm not taking the mark of the beast and the mask of the beast. I'm not doing it. Same thing here. Ephesians 3, 4, 5, and 6. I'm going to throw this plug out there because it's a friend of mine on Facebook. don't know the guy, but I'm going to see his pictures. I'm just going to throw out a plug for him. I don't think he's going to mind. David Sellers. I've got several people that have been highlighted on Facebook. David Sellers. Look him up. He's kind of like the Jesus police on military steroids, guys. But when you listen to the guy's heart, he's got a really good heart. But the messages are also really good. And he is on top of repent. And we need to repent as a nation because we fail God. One virus took us out, guys. We, where's, where's the, where was the power? I'm sorry I told that to some Christian people and they, man, they got mad as heck at me. Several of them. One virus took us out, guys. It did. Where was the power? We've been disconnected, guys. So I'm telling you, this is the last piece, but I've got way more too. But that 5 a.m. prayer, repent, humble ourselves, pray, seek the Lord way, may you be found. Call on him. Weep between the porch and the altar. Get up off of your butt. Get a little bit of Holy Ghost backbone. No more, devil. Done. Stick a fork in it. Even the world's had it with this garbage. And we're being fed garbage, fed garbage, fed garbage. I'm going to end with this. That herd immunity stuff. That's great. And, it's, and, it, and it makes sense. And it, uh, Okay. But that's what the world's doing. You ever watch some of those discovery shows, those wildebeest, there'd be a whole bunch of them maybe running from some predator and then also they see another one off to the other side boom go to the left go to the right the russia probe the trump's this that political systems that the black lives matter is this and that the coronavirus this and that everybody's you know it's like man they're scattered and running at breakneck speed to the next greatest latest social media pile of trash where's Jesus in all this guys where's the Holy Ghost he's mandatory they're mandatory God's mandatory not a mask cover up your face hide behind something hiding in plain sight it is a mark of the beast guys it's a mark to say hey look what I did to the world People are seeing it all over. Now the government sees out what an easy target we are as a civilization and as Christians. Not a soapbox, guys. We all got them on this one. It's all about who do you serve? Who's your source? Better be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, does word, because there is a storm coming, guys. There's multiple storms that are right here, and these look pretty bad. I grew up in Minnesota. There's a, there's a blizzard coming, guys. A famine for the lack of the word. Read it, Amos 8 11. There, there's some coming up. I've got some more dreams and stuff that I'm going to share and put all that together. My fault because I've been letting the enemy take some of my time. He's, the other one's been my health. Okay, so if I seem a little scattered at times, I'm going to put this in there so you'll realize where I'm coming from. I'm literally a walking miracle, guys, honestly. <clears throat> <clears throat> Had some brain strokes a while back, and one of the things it did was it wiped out part of my brain, the part where my balance is. That's one part, but God's miraculously... I'm, I'm walking. I wasn't. I would fall over. A lot. But, doctor report's horrible, but so, I'm, I'm, 
God's not. There's somebody doing me a miracle that I'm still on the wheel. He's performing, performed some, still performing some. But it's a little, a little challenging, and that's to say it lightly, that, you know, my brain kind of gets all over the place at times. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. I don't like it, guys. Okay, I'm not giving the devil any room. I'm not broadcasting this to say, give him some credit. What I'm saying is, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, even if God doesn't, he's able. So what if he doesn't? Are you still going to serve him? Man, it is time to take a, not take a stand, but take a knee in prayer. God wants us to listen, guys. That's why that 5 a.m. on the morning time prayer is so important because you don't have a cell phone if you don't want to turn it on. You don't have your computer. You don't have your social media. You don't have the CNN garbage and trash and news. I just canceled mine. I'll check it out on the Internet, and the Internet's full of it, too. Garbage. Trash. Pollution. Deception. You're not gonna get you're not gonna get it from me, you're gonna get it from your source. And your source better be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. And the 5 a.m. is so important because it starts the day for one. But two, there's not a divisive, trash, deceptive spirit distract you from, from the true meaning of what God's trying to do. Are you listening to what the Spirit's saying to the church? Are you too busy in your technological little bubble world? Love you guys, but this has to start coming out. And it is good news because His grace and mercy and truth is sufficient. Or we wouldn't still be here, guys. The world tried to pull the plug and drain, drain the swamp, all right. Tried to drain us all down it. They did a pretty good job of it. Their first stab at it. Satan's first stab at the mark of the beast. Man, a good example. I mean, it's all across, but look what we did to the police, guys. Would you want to be a cop today? I went and I went an apology. I went and kind of wept. I saw a cop at the store and told him, talk to him, tell him I'm sorry that as a nation we threw you under the bus because we did, guys. It's exactly what the devil wants: throw each other under the bus. The black and white issue. It's not a black and white issue, guys. It's a demonic issue. It's good versus evil. It's God versus Satan. Get a grip. It's time to get a grip. Get a hold. And you're not going to get it. The talk, YouTube, and Facebook, and all this other gatherings, whatever. You're not going to get it. The reason the 5 a.m. prayer is so important is because we want to be that city to set upon a hill. And I'm not telling you to gather. I'm telling you to gather in, in the house of worship, wherever that is. But if you're not, if the fire's not in you, when you come, you're a burnt ember and a waste piece, wasted piece of nothing coming. But when you're on fire and you've heard from God and you've listened to him and you've got your source and that oil and you're burning and you're on fire, guess what, when we gather, that becomes a city that's set upon a hill, guys. You wanna be the light to this world? Quit hiding out in the darkness behind a mask. Get your butt up with me at five in the morning, I'll see you there tomorrow. We can all gather. My address is different, I poke my head out, my address is completely different than your street too. But God sees. I'm telling you, we need to get together as a nation. You think that this is just the second wave or whatever. Seemingly, has already gotten a little bit worse. And there's a storm coming, guys. I, well, I don't like the sensationalism of it. I don't want to put a date on it. I don't like all that. Garbage. Maybe it's just personal. I just don't. But the Lord gave it to me. 
if you knew what I did with some of these messages that the Lord's given me, guys, some of them been a year, two years in the making, not saying anything. I've had some pretty off the wall, I mean, F-bomb, I, that's no big deal, but I've had some comments and some pretty, pretty ignorant people to the Word of God, honestly. Not all, but a few, trying to stir the pot. I get them some, you know, I'm not taking the bait. I pray about them. What do you want me to say about them, God? A couple of them that I got to answer back. But I put prayer in it first. Because Steve in the flesh, this probably isn't preacher friendly either, might want to jack slap some people. You too. You might get jack slapped back. That's the flesh, guys. Spitting stuff out, garbage, trash. We're just proliferating the lie. That wisdom from above. And you're not going to get it. Sitting in your easy chair, Mar I think it's Mario Morello. Um, I not watched him much, just kind of, all of a sudden he's kind of popped up, but he said, the church has been a cruise ship too long, it's time to turn back into a battleship. Man, I, you know, a lot of y'all been on a cruise, man, it's a, you know, eat, drink, and be merry, open buffet 24-7, entertainment, just... <sighs> And the world's dying and lost and undone and people are actually going to hell because they haven't heard the god the true gospel so get up I'm telling the body get up and pray with me what's he telling you like i said i mean i'm a little bit different vessel than david sellers he's got a certain mission that he's on that's a good mission, godly mission. He catches flack for it. I've seen some of it. He had, he's posted a few things, but I can tell. Got a very, me, I've got a very strong spirit of discernment. That's just one of the giftings that he's given me. You may be prophesying, you may be uh, preaching and teaching, you may be, you know, gift giving. I don't, you know, this arm is different than my leg. You know, they serve a different purpose. But it's all still part of my body. So, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Um, no mask. No mask, Kimosabe. Not doing it. Got one. Like it? Reason why I like it is because it's a comic book. That's how this has been. It's it's so. Grieving to the Holy Spirit, it, it's it's comical. How stupid and ignorant we've become. Me too. I fell for some of this too. We failed as a church, guys. Like I said one one. What are we gonna do when the plagues? And one one virus took us out. Where was everybody? Where are they now? Hiding to fight another day, stacking up their little bit of money. Some of them got quite a bit, some of them have none. Think it's gonna be the same, sing, a, sing another song. Ain't gonna fly this time, guys. Ain't gonna work. If you don't have, Bob Woods under this one preacher, a black preacher actually, he used to say, it's the Holy Ghost, not the Holy Ghost been lied to, deceived from the from the church, the government to the why? Where's it coming from? The devil himself. It's a demonic spirit. Now people are so angry, you know, one lady on the news, I am gonna end. My ancestors came over here or whatever. Get, so if I if I want to burn this place to the ground, I can. If you don't agree with people, they'll actually shoot. They're starting to shoot you now. The 
There's places you probably don't want to go. You better be prayed up and stayed up and asking the Lord. And he may send us into these dark, ugly spots because that's where we're supposed to go. But you better know that's where you're supposed to go. And you're not going to get it from me or any other preacher. You may get encouragement, you may get wisdom, and you may get nuggets, and you may get things that are going to help you on that journey. But you're not going to get the wisdom from above unless if you're seeking for the wisdom from above, unless if you're crying out to God, unless if you're on your on your knees. And I'm kind of old, and it's hard to get on my knees. So I, you know, I get that. Okay, it's not that's not the what I'm saying. It's it's really honestly it's symbolic. Are you really praying? Are you playing? Guys, it's that the rubber meets the road. It's right here, right in front of us. Walk out your door right now. Go try to shop, okay? That's the mark of the beast. You can't shop or buy. Well, I just came from the store. The guy wouldn't let me buy anything if I didn't wear a mask. He can't sell anything if people come in there without a mask because a city's sitting in the parking lot waiting to pounce on him and give him a ticket that he can't afford and shut him down. When this all started, I did one of the few times I did, but it was to honor them. It was a food bank, guys, a place that serves people food. The city shut them down, their, their thrift shop. One of their, they're, they're, they have other sources of money, but it was one of their sources of money. Couldn't sell. Couldn't buy. This is not the NFL, which is a bunch of jokesters right now, anyhow. But it's always been that way. You know, 12 guys chasing a pigskin ball, and we call it entertainment, and everybody has a bad day if their team lost. Not everybody, but a lot of those people. Crazy, goofy. So, anyhow, love you guys. Um, Where I live, masks aren't mandatory. Because I don't live in this world. I'm not of this world. I'm in this world, but not of this world. It's not a game, guys. It's a spiritual battle. So are you going to take, take it on that way? Or are you going to talk about it, blurb about it, Facebook about it, YouTube about it? I am too. That's because I'm a watchman. I'm not saying you can't and shouldn't and don't. I've seen some just common people that aren't preachers that posted some really good stuff. I will say this other plug. I don't know the lady. Deborah Jordan. Look her up on Facebook. It's a picture. She just looks like a common, decent person. She posted something recently, and it was extremely prophetic and profound. She's been posting some good stuff anyhow. I mean, just a few things she does. But this was really, really deep. A couple days ago, I reposted it from somebody else. It was from somebody else. There's some good stuff out there, guys. But I, you know, I, I get caught up in that trap once in a while. I just boop, 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 grab stuff and blur, blurb it out, too, for convenience. And like I said, the enemy's been... Ryan really hard to rob me of my time. And I just got to get stuff out and this message is out. But most of them I really pray about. A lot. And I'm not, that doesn't make me greater than you or less than just because you have or you haven't. I'm saying we all need to. That's where we need to land. No face mask, instead no Jesus. Love you guys. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <sighs> Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm a little fun with that, actually. Like I said, hopefully I won't get the police call me and think I'm going to rob them or shoot them. Mask bandit. No mask, Kimo Sabe.